Oh, well, guys, that time of year again. G'day, guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a wee while. Last video we did was filmed before Christmas, and it is now the 29th of January. So, yeah, good wee break. Had a bit of a holiday, and yeah, a few other things happening, and got on top of stuff, but just a nice wee reset, refresher as far as this stuff goes. So, ready to get back into it. Anyway, yeah, today. Lambs, the way we've got, I don't know how many here, and then the rest out there, there should be about 1,200 in total. We did the others the other day, got the ewe lambs out, and then split the boys into three lines, smalls, mediums, and bigs. Um, today, we're going to do the same thing, but with the terminal mob, so there's only really one thing for it. Let's get into it. The old story, this thing still needs washed, but then the birds just pull over it again. So, that's what it is. Now the other day, they had the lambs in the yards for about six hours by the time we started weighing. So I think we'll bump that up to 37. Oh, no, that's not right. That doesn't look right, does it? 37 kilos. And that, yeah, that's right. And that next one, I think, we'll go to. We go to 45, not 445. That won't work. 45 and we'll see how we go. Now the only reason we've got this one here is if two lambs wind up in there together Hopefully they're both over 30 kilos and it stops and it doesn't record either. So yeah, but we'll see High hopes for these lambs. We're hoping to get about 120 to 150 away tomorrow Not all out of this mob. Uh, we've already got 100 out, but they're way lighter. There's a few in there that are ready to go. We've just got to work at what we're going to do and then just through there, in the paddock, is the lakes which we're going to wean and get a fuel weight out of them too. But we want 20 kilo carcasses. There's some good meaty looking lambs there. I'm just not sure, not the Sean one that said fly strike. Um, I'm just not sure whether they're quite there yet or not. But that's, oh yeah, that's good. The scales don't lie though. Go on guys. There was a wee bit dicky going through this thing. Come on. There you go, there you go. Well, that's a good start. That's a very good start. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Hey, hey, hey! 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 Come on, in you go. In you go.
few aims for this lot. Oh guys, might be one there's gonna go. We can get him 20% so one out of five makes sense. Good lemmies. Don't you be a dick. No, 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 no. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, maybe none then. You, you gonna have a chance? I don't think so, bro. Close, not quite. Now, this wee bar here, let me go with that. This wee bar here has saved a lot of our issues because uh, yeah, we were having trouble. They keep backing out of there, but now they're running a lot nicer. Oh, she's got them all around. Not quite. One. Come on, Noddy. No, he's right. Come on guys, hey! <laughs> hey! Come on guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright guys, after lunch now, and the numbers are looking pretty good. Come on, in you go, in you go. Didn't throw them. Come on guys. Turn around, turn around. And you go. It's going to get a bit fiddly, we have got to finish away on this one and then we're going to put the, the big ones out on grass I oh know, we've got to re-weigh them yet, but we're going to do this Get the lights in, draft them off, weigh the lambs, mark the ones that are going to go to the works Come on guys Oh guys, come on, come on Yeah, uh, the ones that are going to go to the works, put them back with mum First thing in the morning they're going to come in and get separated again and then the mark ones will go on the truck with these but then at about 8 o'clock tonight because these lambs are going to the works at 8.30 tomorrow uh, I'll get to you, where's my remote? right here that works and then press auto again there you go lambs there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Yeah, so tonight, after tea, we're going to be weighing lambs again. Come on, you wee rat bag. Why do the wee ones always stop? There we go. And the big ones don't. I'll say that, it doesn't matter. So that's the plan. So these out on grass, lates in, sorted. Lates back out. These back in, weighed in the morning. Lates back in, grafted. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. The last time we've got to do it because that's once the lights are weaned, they're weaned, that's it. Um, yeah, so should work out pretty neat, but just a bit of bit of fiddling around.
over a thousand for the day. Two hundred and two out. Hey, hey guys, hey, hey guys. Thousand and ten done. So what's that? Being on, being on twenty percent, which is good. Not doing all going, obviously. But come on, you, you head back out of there. Come on guys. Go on. Last race of this mob, hopefully. Come on, guys. All the idiots at the back of the pen. And there we are, done. What have we got? 1207. So we've got 220 above 45. 37 to 45. Oh, sorry. Under 37. Then 37 to 45. That's not a good number to land on. Yep, so that's a pretty good result actually, um, really happy with that. So we've got, what do I say, 200 and whatever in that mob, plus there's another 80 or 90 from yesterday out of the Romneys, uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday. Um, yeah, so they're going to get mixed up at about 8 o'clock tonight, we'll get them in and we will start, what do we start doing? Start weighing, yep, um, to get down to 150, less whatever we get out of these lakes because we're going to wean them next. Um, not really the best time of day to be doing that, but it's a small mob, so it will be okay. What am I doing walking down here? No, I'm doing the wrong thing. Right. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to plan. I'm thinking there'll be, uh, like I said, there might be 20 or 30 in the lates. We'll see. We will see. And then, yeah, 120 or 130 out of this lot. And cross our fingers for a 20 kilo plus carcass weight. Got to be a little bit careful because we're on a sort of premium program with the company we supply. We weathered all of our boy lambs, which there's a bit of hit in production there. Not much. I reckon about 0.3 of a kilo of carcass weight. This year that means less than two dollars a head, um, but in some years that could be two dollars fifty, three dollars a head, uh, which means a bit when you're dealing in thousands. Um, yeah, and we found out we don't get paid that for lambs with a carcass weight of more than 21.3. And I'll be honest, we're not very happy about it. Um, not something we'd have to give any thought the last two years being drought years. But now that we're able to go back and do what we do best, which is big lambs. Um, yeah, makes me wonder if maybe it's not worth weathering our lambs. Um, I don't know, we'll see. It's really convenient from a management point of view because if there's a weather in with the ewe lambs that can't get the lambs pregnant the ewe lambs pregnant uh whereas a crypt orchid which is we leave the nuts in but take the sack off so push the nuts yeah. up inside um that could sometimes that could get they can still work a little bit so yeah that's that's annoying that anyway that means that we're gonna have to kill the lambs in two lines it's going to be a little bit of a juggling act trying to work out where that magic weight is because we're working in live weight they're working in carcass weight it's not a 100% direct relationship, it's pretty close. Um, yeah, so what we want to do is send the lambs in two lines. We're sort of thinking a full weight of 50 kilos is a good place to start because the ones above that, if we lose that 25 cents a kilo premium that we're getting, um, then they're better off going on the, well it's basically a cents per case schedule. Um, all weights, all grades they call it. So better off doing that because you actually get more money there. Uh, only like 10 cents a kilo more, but hey, 10 cents a kilo on a 20 kilo lamb is two dollars, so it's worth chasing. Um, niggly, but this is what it is. Anyway, 
I'm waffling. Let's go and do some work. Don't know why I always do this for you guys, but doing that gate chain single-handedly is not always just that simple. There we go. Weights are in. Let's let these guys go. These are the 666. I think they'll run out of steel sitting there. Uh, mids. So what are they? 37 to 45. Yeah. That's what they are. Hey, hey guys, don't roll the lamb over like that. Come on, come on. Quite crazy in this pen. Got to remember that pen back there is not. They're the bigs. Come on, guys. All in all, not a bad looking line of lambs, I don't reckon. Yeah. I'm glad the majority's in this mob and not the smaller ones that Sarah just took away. Yeah, they're not going to run out there with steel sitting there. Oh, maybe they will. One more pin, which is that one there. Hey, hey, not a, you don't do that, you'll break yourself. Come on. Always looks like more than it is, but yeah. There's a few there. There's another 300 and something to join this mob, so it'll be just over a thousand. That's from the other day. Straight wrongness. But these here have um, got a few U lambs in them that we are going to pull out for a mate up in Ranfurly. They want, I don't know, 15 or 20 or 30 or something. I better find out because we're going to do it in the next few days because they want them in good time. Uh, to, Toxo and Kempy them, um, yeah, so they'll probably come back in Wednesday or Thursday and then once they're back in we've got those ewe lambs out, just to save us going through another 300 lambs we know are all boys, um, we will, yeah, join those others up with them, so yeah, should work out alright. Oh, there we go. Lads are weaned, lambs used. I think there's one lamb, one you and the lambs, that'll be right. We will sort it, get these out of the road, get to weighing, get this job done, because I'm really looking forward to a drink tonight. There we go, excuse the sweat, it is bloody hot today. We have got, I don't know because I carry it on in the same one, two, four, mm, somewhere around about 20 there, which is sort of what I thought we were going to get. Most of them probably aren't off mum, that south down there definitely is, but they're weighed to 45 kilos, which means there'll be a few in there that might be 18 fives, um, but we're looking for a 20 kilo sheet, not for every lamb to be over 20 kilos. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to be really disappointed if we don't get a 20 kilo sheet after this video saying the whole way through that's what we want. But that's all right, that is the game. We don't know until we actually try and work it out. Um, yeah, so those lambs are now weaned. The big ones are going to go back with mum for the night, even though I don't think there's any advantage to that at all because I think most of them aren't on a mum. And I don't think mums have got much milk left because let's be honest, guys. Those are not looking for those. And those aren't looking for those. I reckon there's 10 ewes in there that are actually worried about it. Which means there's probably only 10 ewes in there that are actually going to milk it from them. Yeah. Oh, it's just too late to go back now. Go away. Come on, you rock. Right, now for the big reuniting. She's a big weaning graph that one, isn't it? Now thankfully they don't have to stay separate. Uh, the, there's a big difference between lambs on mum and lambs not on mum. They don't even care, they're not even looking for mum. So this isn't really an issue. Uh, but it's only on in the individual animal's carcass weight. So it doesn't actually matter for the sheep. Maybe it's worthwhile for three lambs. I mean, it's not a big job to hunt them back in in the morning from that paddock and sit in it. So yeah, that just leaves the wee ones in the yards. They are going to stay there until those big, big ones come back in because I can't get them to where they got to go otherwise. As you can see, guys, I've really got my thistles under control this year. No thistles to be seen. No thistles anywhere, not even up there on that hill, and definitely not on that one. Yeah. Yeah, they've had a good season. Actually, most of the scotchies, which is annoying, but I hate scotchies. But they are easier to deal with than Kelly's, but the seeds for these are reckon coming in the young grass. And there's, oh, look at that here, getting unruly. There's a few nodders in here, there's five. At the end of this video, we'll go over that and what they are and why they're a problem. And how I think they're getting here, because it's getting frustrating. We don't have nodding thistles on this farm, so we've got to dig them out. But anyway, anyway, right now, we're going to get these guys in. These are the Romneys that we weighed up the other day, off camera. And they're going to join the ones we weighed up today through there. And then we're going to run them through the scales again. Right on, guys. So we're all in. Now we just have to... Uh, Make some adjustments on the scales. We'll start a new session because that just makes sense. Um, make some adjustments on the scales and get into it. So we got home. New session. Start session. There is an easier way to do this. I have just forgotten how to do it. But this isn't hard. Uh, below we're going to go to 46.5, not 346.5, 46, uh, 46. 46.5 to 50, and that should do us. Uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Full set, ready to go. Well guys, that went real well. Um, 
Be the wee fellas we left in the yards before. That is what we've thrown out. 46.5 kilo lambs in there that were thrown out. That, that's good, because in three weeks time they'll be over 50. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, over here we have got the, there's a few in there at 46.5, there might be five or six of them, but that's a pet lamb, he's coming out. Um, yeah, he's 47.5, but he can hang around a bit longer yet. Anyway, these guys are 47 to 49.5 basically, um, with a couple in there at 46.5. These guys here, there's 25 here, they are all over, they're 50 and over. Um, they average 51.7 kilos, which is, sorry, you might not be able to see that, which is phenomenal. There we go, so the two lines we're looking at are the mediums, which are them, come on camera, focus again, and the highs. So ignore that middle row, well don't ignore it, but they're not going to the works. I'm pretty happy with that. In fact, I'm absolutely bloody stoked. Um, Slight problem though, I told the stock agent 150, he's told the transport 150, I'll be more than happy with 150, but if they want them, because they're looking for lambs, uh, we've got 176 I believe, there's 156 here, and I think there's 20 out there, I didn't actually get a hard count of them, because it was near enough to 20, I wasn't too worried, I didn't think we'd get 130 of these, um, I certainly didn't think we'd get it having to bump the weights up by half a kilo, now, I'm not certain that these ones here will go over 20 kilos carcass. Um, as near as makes no difference certain they will. I'm hoping the two combined will. It'd really be nice if these ones did on the sheet, but we'll see how that goes. So they'll be, they'll be close. Well, here we are. We've got our 25 down there. That gate is tied shut, so it cannot come open. Chained and tied. Then we've got our other ones here. Ready to go. Plus the weaning draft ones are out there. So. Yep, sorted. We'll catch you guys in the morning. Next morning, guys. Fresh battery, fresh, fresh SD card. Still. Right. Look at that. Tell you what guys, what would we do without working dogs? Life, sorry, life would be harder. Too easy. Oh well, we did that bit of weighing and we got two out that were over 50 and we got five out that were under 45, which is good because I didn't want them in there. I don't know how they got in there, but that's okay. Anyway, um, the two that we got out then proceeded to jump back in with the 45 to 50s. So they're in here. It's only two lambs. It would have been nice to know. But the 25 we've got down that bottom corner will give us a fair idea whether it's worth doing this um, shifty thing. Not shifty. Shift around thing with the uh, hand pick versus the all weights, all grades. Like I said, we'll get into that when the sheets come in and I'll show you what we're talking about. But now we're just waiting on the truck. Ah, uh, we got the flagship truck today. Good old Herbert's transport. That paint job does it was.
171 lambs away. Awesome, hopefully they'll do 116 bucks. Man, that thing sounds good. Right guys, so we're just out here in this mob of use. This is the paddock I said had the, the nodding thistles in it. There's five. Um, there should be zero. But hey, there should be zero scotches too. And well, probably shouldn't be many Kellys either. Now the Kellys are definitely already here, but scotches probably are too. But the nodders, no. No, they're not. Now, we've got a scotch thistle which is very similar to a modern thistle, but not the same. They're a bit more aggressive looking on the leaves, but they're sort of almost a, I don't know, like a more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Porous type leaf than the modern, which you'll see in a minute. The heads, they're the same color pretty much as a modern, a little bit less, but pretty much, and uh, a little bit darker in color, because, well, there's the modern there. So, yeah, you know, similar but not, and the reason they're called nodders is because the heads, well, they nod. They bend over and nod, so, yeah. Um, ironically, these things are quite easy to kill. If I mow this right now, it will die, and to be fair, I'm already too late, because look at that. Um, there are lots of things that cause that. I should have been more onto it, but I didn't know they were here not that long ago, because, like, this paddock just had some cattle running around in it, and... Oh, I knew there was heaps of scotches. I knew we'd get there with the use. Obviously, did that one last. That one there's next. Um, it's a year later, and it's just got Kellys and a few scotches. But we can deal with Kellys. I hate Kellys, but we can live with them. But um, yeah, this. So unfortunately, it's already shed a few seeds, but we are going to prevent all those other heads from shedding their seeds by digging it out of the ground and putting it in that bag. Here we are, there you go, two pieces of taproot. So I'm pretty sure we've got all of it. Horrible big thing. I don't think they grow back from this. I think they're an annual thing. They grow from seeds, which don't germinate very well, but as you can see, there's thousands of them. Oh, there we go, guys. After a long time trying, I got that one thistle in that bag. Thought it might have broken down a bit smaller, so we might go get a wolf edge for the rest. Yeah. There's only Put four more, and that's the far and away the biggest one. But come back tomorrow with the motorbike. We'll take that to the hole, set it on fire, and none of those seeds, hopefully, will be viable. Right, guys, this is my third attempt to doing this. The GoPro is playing up. We've got these kill sheets, and I did tell you that I'd go through them. So we've got this sheet here 19.8 kilos, $114. There was 146 of them. Over here, we've got the 25 big ones that are 21.46 at 124.47. Now that is actually not what we get. That's what we get minus these three. Right? So on this page, that's what we get minus these three. But these actually get 15 cents a kilo more in loyalty payment paid later on. So they did one cent a kilo worse than these. Which would make you wonder why we bothered and why we didn't just kill all these on that sheet for one cent a kilo. Well, for 15 cents loyalty. Um, the other thing there though is that these, so eight of them went under the 21.3 kilo mark, which means eight of them would have got the hand pick premium, which is here, which is 25 cents a kilo, if they're on this sheet. But 17 wouldn't. Alternatively, over here, nine of them didn't hear because they're 21.3 or 23.3 yeah, 21 or bigger. There's a big one. Um, yeah, so that's why we sort of split that a little bit. These lambs here look like they've got 10 cents a kilo more than those, but actually, 
there's 25 cents a kilo to come off that price for those ones, right? If they go on there. Now, yes, they'll get the loyalty on top of that, but they're still going to get 25 cents less because these ones are still going to get the loyalty, right? So these ones should be 594. If they were on that sheet, they would be 571. I think I got that right. I think I have. Yeah, they'd be 25 cents less, right? So 25 cents a kilo on a 21.5 kilo average. Actually, it's more than that because they would have got it. But for the purpose of this, we'll say that. Um, 25 cents a kilo, that's five bucks a lamb plus 50 cents plus 25 cents. So very nearly $6 a lamb better for those ones by killing them on that separate schedule than if we'd killed, these one, killed them with these ones. But these ones are better off being killed this way. Right, so I hope that made sense. Um, gets a little bit complicated. It's just that last few dollars we're trying to squeeze out of there. That was on 25 lambs. That was a little experiment to see just how worthwhile that is. Look, that's probably the easiest 80 bucks I've ever made. I don't know, maybe not the easiest. It was pretty easy. It's 80 bucks. It's half a tank of gas for the boat, right? So, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, field day's tomorrow. Wednesday. Wednesday the 14th, I believe. Going to be there, cruising around with a few hats. We've got blue ones. We've got red ones. We don't have red ones for sale. They're only giveaways. We've got green ones. We've got grey ones. And we've got dark grey ones. If you want one, 30 bucks each. Come see me. We'll sort you out. Um, yeah. So, anyway. Hope you enjoyed that video guys, hope you learned something, see what we're up to, awesome lamb weights, good to see by the way those two sheets, they average 20.04, so we got our 20 kilo average, which is awesome, just got to hold it for the rest of the season now, right, see you next time.